during this very strange time of coronavirus, all doing our best to social distance and uh, just stay inside and and uh, try to slow the spread of this thing. Um, but with that being said, I'd rather be herping. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Um, I would normally go with a, a buddy or two, but just gonna go solo and uh, see what we can find so we'll see so unfortunately over the last week um, the guy on Instagram I don't know him personally but I know his Instagram and um, he's a cool cool dude and uh, he actually ended up getting bit by a Southern Pacific uh, and needed 10 vials of uh, anti-venom. And so it's a good reminder for all of us, including myself, get these and wear them. 50, 60, 70 bucks is going to save you thousands, potentially. Um, it can happen to anybody. He, he never even saw it, um, never heard it. Uh, it was snakes are just great at camouflage. Snakes are just really good at what they do. And uh, as much as we prepare and know the area and the surroundings and where snakes are at, they're still unpredictable and uh, can still get the best of us. And it's just a good reminder that safety should be number one. Uh, as uh, my buddy Ian, Technoendo, I uh, said a really fun, great day can turn into a real disaster. So just remember to stay safe out there, guys. And I don't want this to take away from this not being a really fun hobby. It is an awesome hobby. Uh, super cool. Nature, wildlife, just doesn't get any better than that. But just remain safe, and you're going to have an awesome day. So I just flipped this rock. It's really heavy. I put it back. And the first rock I flip, I end up finding my target species who's in my pocket. I'll get some video here in just a second. Found a Gilbert skink. The uh, subspecies is uh, the red-tailed skink. This is an adult. All right, so this isn't a lifer for me. I've seen them up north. He's getting really agitated here. Surprised he hasn't bit me yet. But this is an adult Gilbert skink. Um, the adults differ from the Coronado skink in that they're patternless. They're completely like that brownish coloration, no pattern on the scale, no stripes. Um, now when these guys are younger, they look very identical to the Coronado skinks. But the uh, Coronado skinks have blue tails and the Gilbert skinks have pink tails. Hopefully we find a, uh, a pink tail one uh, later today. I was not expecting an adult Gilberts today. But what an awesome find. I know, I know, I know. But finding them uh, underneath surface objects, especially rocks, that's the best way to find them. I know. These guys are diurnal, but... You rarely see them out walking around during the day. They just are, are very secretive. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, so I'm gonna try to do some uh, live flipping because these boards are pretty darn good. Uh, now that I said that, I'll probably jinx it, but uh, it was really weird. A helicopter just came over here and like circled over me. <laughs> six or seven times so i don't know what the heck that was all about so if uh the cops show up i'll try to get it on video <laughs> mm, what a nope right now <clears throat> crazy western pence lizard And then another little baby western fence lizard. And then another western fence lizard. Oh, 
and I totally missed it. Check it out. There's the juvenile Gilbert Skink. See the pink tail? So that's a juvenile. All right, cool. So I actually get to show you both the adult and the juvenile Gilbert Skink. So he looks very much like the Coronado skink when they're little. I'll try to show a picture of that because I found plenty of Coronados. But he's got the pink tail. Yeah, showing off the pink tail. And these guys like to bite. Cool. Alrighty, so that's awesome. Get to show you both the uh, variety, you know, the between the juvenile and the adult, just the different uh looks so when this guy gets older he'll look like the adult Gilbert sink where he'll lose the stripes and it'll just be a solid color oh got a little coach whip Wow. And I just got So there's two skinks that were running. I didn't see the other one, but here is the Coronado skink. My water bottle fell on all those earwigs. But you can see the blue tail. All right, come on, Spaz, hold on. Let me get my water bottle. But there's the Coronado, so you can see the blue tail. So that's what tells the juveniles apart. Blue tail, pink tail. But other than that, the stripes, he looks very similar. The, the other way that you can tell is if you take a really close picture up on the front of his nose, he's got, the Coronado has seven uh, scales by the, by the face, and the uh, Gilberts has eight. Crazy fence lizard. Look at that, another coach whip. Hey, look at that. Little California toad. There he is. Hey, buddy. So you've already seen the juvenile and the adult Gilbert skink, and the juvenile Coronado skink. Here's the adult Coronado skink. All right, so that's the end of part one of this Herping California video. Part two, actually, I have to take you back to 2019 where I first encountered this type of reptile uh, and then later encountered it again in 2020. So check out part two for another awesome, awesome reptile. All right, so we just road cruised a uh, legless lizard. This is another lifer for me, so very cool. I'm not going to do a, a video on them. I'll find another one. I know where, where they can be found, and I'll do the Herping California video on them, but... So what you are looking at is actually two tiny lizards. Nope, not snakes. They just have no legs. 
They have eyelids and a blunt tail that can detach as a defensive mechanism. Snakes do not have eyelids. Not a lot is known about these little lizard size range, but it is believed to be around four to seven inches. So these two are very, very small. One of the ways that people find these guys is that they use their snake hook or their hands or some sort of stick or some sort of object like that to search gently in the soil underneath artificial cover. A lot of times they are buried under the loose soil and you never see them unless you did this. Just about anything would love to eat these guys, but their biggest threat is probably snakes like king snakes and ringneck snakes. If they venture out from uh, beneath the soil and, and artificial cover, birds will definitely get them too. The legless lizard, on the other hand, feeds on primarily larval insects that it can overpower. Also, one last interesting fact about these lizards is that they are live-bearing. They do not have eggs.